Alright guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to show you how to change from a DC motor to a servo motor. But before we continue, I want you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on your notification bell. What that does is that it makes YouTube algorithm recommend us as a place to come to for solutions. And that way you're helping our channel to get more views and then more payment from YouTube. By the way, with your help, we have been able to meet all the requirements for YouTube. And so therefore we are now currently monetized. So the longer you watch our videos, the more help you're doing to us. If you chat us up on WhatsApp, uh it requires a fee it's not free and uh, but even if you don't chat us on whatsapp uh, the only way you can support the channel is if you watch for longer don't close those advertisements because those advertisements are how we get paid thank you very much let's get into it so let's say maybe you mistakenly press a reset button factory reset or anything you did and then you must have mistakenly switched your machine from a DC motor to a servo motor or whether your machine uses a servo motor so you switch to a DC motor this is how you can correct that problem but before we get to that how do you even know what kind of motor you have so I'm going to show you my motor here my machine uses a DC motor so I'm going to show you that motor now if your motor is not like that but your motor looks like this on the screen that I'm showing now then you are using a servo motor but if your mash if your motor looks like mine or maybe a variant of mine that clearly doesn't look like the one i just showed you then your machine uses a servo motor if your machine doesn't use my kind of motor it's a servo motor if your machine uses my kind of motor it's a dc motor so let me show you what a dc motor looks like in a minute so this is what a dc motor looks like it's a very simple motor, one huge motor and a belt, that's all. But a servo motor doesn't look like that, it looks like this, like I've said. Now, if this is the kind of motor you use, then let me show you, and you mistakenly set your machine as servo, then this is how to correct the problem. First, you start by turning off your machine, and then you press these four buttons together, up left down and right these four buttons when you press that four buttons down while it is pressed down you press the power and then you'll see this interface so once you get to this interface you then keep pressing right then it's going to tell you wiper this setting is a back-end setting for the wiper what kind of wiper it is uh if your wiper is a lift it will show you if your wiper is but in most cases you leave this alone this is video is not about wipers anyway so then print with raster type car motor you can see that the car motor here is dc right so if you press down it will change to servo and then you press enter once you press enter your machine will start acting funny because the machine was not meant for servo but in your case so if, if you have you just press enter like this and once you press that enter your machine will save the settings as servo and then it will now work well with your machine and suppose your machine was servo previously if you come here you just press up again and then you go back to dc and then you press enter and then it will store the settings and then you turn off the machine and then you turn it back on then your machine will be absolutely fine right so that's pretty much how to do it it's very easy just identify the kind of motor you use and then go to the back end by pressing these four buttons while you press power on and then you go to the menu that says servo and change to either servo or dc depending on what kind of motor you use i hope this has helped you if it has i want you to hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn on the notification bell so that others may be able to see us and then recommend us to someone else thank you so much have a lovely day ahead take care bye